our next speaker, uh, the Energy Programs Manager at People's Power and Light and the Vice President of Policy for the Environment Council of Rhode Island. Please welcome Kat Burnham. Thank you, Climate Action, for the invite. So I, I work in the clean energy industry, and I sometimes get the question, can we afford to go all renewable? Yes. And to that I say, we can't afford not to. <laughs> We cannot afford a fossil fuel future. We cannot afford to keep spewing methane and carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases into our atmosphere. In Rhode Island, we cannot afford to lose more shoreline to our rising seas. We cannot afford to exacerbate the heat island effect in our city centers. It especially hurts vulnerable populations. And especially in Rhode Island, we cannot afford to send billions of dollars to other states for natural gas that we don't want. not too long ago signed a goal to increase renewable energy for Rhode Island to a thousand megawatts by 2020. Not bad, but much like the Paris Agreement she signed, there is no clear action plan. To our governor and to governors visiting today, we need a plan. We need to thoughtfully invest in solar, in wind, in energy efficiency, in grid modernization, and so much more. We need a clean energy future. And clean jobs, absolutely. Um, so I, I want to just finally wrap up and say we need to make sure that we do not allow our president, who's willfully ignorant of climate science, to lead us in the wrong direction. We cannot let his administration, which prioritizes the interests of a few elites over the well-being of all. We need to work together. Climate, climate change does not stay within state borders. We need to collaborate with other states. We cannot afford to delay, we need action now. Thank you. I've never heard of a, a solar panel dripping into a water supply and poisoning it, have you? <laughs> never heard of a solar farm exploding and polluting an entire neighborhood, have you? Oh. 